Hello brothers and sisters and YouTube family. Hope you guys are being blessed. This message was given to me today and I felt urgent again to share it because it goes along with the novena and clarity as to what is going on and what we all should be praying for as we pray to St. Therese for our intercession. So I woke up feeling tired as usual guys. However, I was in much pain physically in my abdomen. So on May 1st, Mother warned us to really stay before the Lord in prayer because it was a satanic feast day and we shouldn't be surprised if we find ourselves facing some battles because the witches prayed the month ahead of time in preparation for that feast day and on May 1st, the curses are released, which is a confirmation of what Jesus said in the most recent message. Would you know it guys, that night I had a dream where I was being fed and eating food. <laughs> well, many may think, well, that's probably a pizza dream, but the Holy Spirit has told me and confirmed that any time you're eating food in a dream, it's a witchcraft assignment against you in the spirit. If they can't attack you physically, they will do it in the spirit and wait for the curse to manifest in your body physically. Now I've done a video of how and why curses land and it's simply sin. And maybe I'll add that at the end of this video. When we have sin in our lives, it leaves the door open guys for curses to land on us. So as Christians, curses can land on us when we walk in willful sin. And let's be honest, all of us have unknown and hidden sin that the Lord has not revealed. So furthermore, the Lord many times may allow these things for suffering or crosses because it brings many graces as well. It also teaches us, it corrects us and draws us near to the Lord and grows us in virtue. If you remember the scripture says in James 1, 1 through 4, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature, complete, not lacking in anything. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but I'm asking for grace to consider it pure joy. <laughs> I'm still not quite there yet <laughs> to have joy in suffering, but I am getting a little bit closer and closer each day. Lord, please help us. So after that dream, guys, I began the binding prayer, not only for myself, but for the whole community and pleading the blood of Jesus, asking for his mercy. And as of that, the past few days, I've had some uncomfortable and sharp pains in my abdomen. They've prayed for healing for me, but I'm offering to the Lord to back up intercession as well, because he hasn't taken the pain away from me yet. And as Mother Claire has said, suffering is a real work. Truly, guys, it is. It's a real work of the Lord that bears much fruit. So if there's anyone listening to this and you're having some tremendous pain in your body physically or you're going through some emotional pain or you're going through some spiritual pain as well, these are all crosses and sufferings the Lord is allowing that you can offer up and give to him for him to shower graces on lost souls. So as I came before the Lord this morning for prayer, I didn't go to bless the mother's tree because of the pain. So I stayed in the chapel and in worship. He played many songs of intercession. And one was a powerful song by Jacqueline Carr called Curse Breaking Prayer. You know that got me riled up, guys. As I began to pray alongside her, not only for myself, but for the nation and for the youth. I felt a strong burden for the children during that prayer. I made to break curses that were released on them. Guys, I encourage everyone to have that song on the worship playlist. And I'll have the link at the bottom as well. Then you played another song of intercession. And as I began to pray in tongues, I heard, pray for Ireland. Guys, I'm telling you truly, I'm a mess. Because instead of yielding to the Holy Spirit, I thought to myself, begin to contend and said, hmm, why Ireland? Is it not where the Celtic Christianity was birthed? It can't be. So I thought it was my mind. I didn't pray for Ireland. I'm telling you guys, please pray for Jesus and the Holy Spirit. It has to be so frustrating working with me sometimes, but they are so patient. Thank you, Lord. And lastly, as I was finishing up worship, just about to do the Lord's Supper, when I heard the words clearly in my heart, the Feast of Beltane, I thought to myself, that sounded familiar. And sure enough, I looked it up on my phone quickly, and it was the Satanic Festival Mother Claire spoke about on May 1st. So I came before the Lord, as I said, Jesus, my beloved, do you have anything to say? And Jesus began, my little one, 
These are all promptings from my spirit, so my people know how to pray and the assignments of the enemy. I know the pain you are in. Offer it to me, my beloved. Offer it. This will back up many of your prayers and pour out a storehouse of graces on those I wanted saved. Yes, my dear one, the feast day is the highest of satanic feast days, many celebrated ignorantly, but there is a sinister undercurrent and a very demonic and ancient influence behind it. It is another demon of Baal that sits on the throne room of the hearts of those who celebrate this festival. Many witches retrieve their source of power from this festival as well. As many innocent bystanders get lured into this trap and celebrating the satanic holiday. However, they are not as innocent as they seem. For within their souls, they too desire power, freedom, and liberty of their own will, which leaves doors wide open for the demons to enter and inhabit their lives. It seems all innocent at first, but before they realize it, they are taken over by these spirits that take complete control of their lives and lead them down into perdition. Many curses have been released, especially on the children and the youth. For Satan knows how powerful this generation will be and anointed to prepare the way for me. So they are the target. It was good for you to pray against the spirit of suicide. Add to that confusion, a spirit of anarchy, a spirit of rejection, a spirit of sexual immorality, and a spirit of rebellion, which is as witchcraft. That is the biggest banner against the youth in this generation, a spirit of rebellion. Pray fervently against these things in the novena. My dear ones, I talk to you now. Those who continue to follow the ways of your pagan ancestors and pagan gods, they are not real, they are not alive, and are man-made deities with demonic entities behind them. Please repent. Turn your hearts back to me. I am the one true living God, and all that you desire is found in me alone. No longer feed your sensuality that will lead you to destruction in every area of your life and eventually eternal separation from me, where you will come face to face with the demon gods and goddesses you now serve and celebrate. I created you for my purpose, for myself, and I love you immensely. My mercy is available for you now, as I have my arms outstretched to embrace you, forgive you, heal you, and restore you. Please heed my cry, as I truly cry for you and the deception you have fallen into. Don't allow Satan to keep you bound in the web of lies any longer. There's absolutely nothing permanent in this life, but temporal satisfaction that will kill you. And there's absolutely nothing for you after death but the flaming fires that you continue to dance around and worship. My beloved brides, please pray fervently for these dear souls. Pray for the children and the youth. Offer every suffering I allow this month for these intentions, dear one. Thank you, my faithful ones, for standing by me in this hour. Pray. And that was the end of Jesus' message. After receiving the message, guys, I looked at more info on the Feast of Beltane. And Beltane is a Celtic word, which means fires of Bel, which is a Celtic deity. Isn't that interesting? The festival is a pagan Celtic festival observed, guess where? Throughout Ireland and Scotland and now in many places all over the world. Those who practice Wicca, which is simply witchcraft, celebrate it too. It's supposedly to honor, it's supposedly... It's supposedly to honor life and fertility as they light bonfires, dance, and perform rituals on the occasion. However, we know that true life is in Christ alone. Anything outside of that is not life at all. As Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. And in John 10, 10, the thief comes only to steal kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. So guys, let's pray for our lost brothers and sisters that they may come to know the abundant life and pray covering the children and the youth of the generation. Lord, we thank you for these words. Holy Spirit, anoint these words 
May God's words go forth and not return void. Lord, I lift up all of my brothers and sisters all over the world, especially those who celebrate this satanic festival. We can to lift up the servants of Satan, God, and we ask for your mercy. We ask for those who have been ignorantly, ignorantly following the ways of men, those who have been following this festival, those who have partaken in this festival. Lord God, please have mercy upon them, Jesus. Remove the scales off their eyes, Lord God, and the demonic veil in the mighty name of Jesus, that they may come to know you as their only life, the only truth, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. God, soften hardened hearts, Lord God. Break down walls, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And we lift up right now, Oh, Heavenly Father, God, the children and the youth, Lord God, that have been targets. Father, ask for mercy. We, we pour the precious blood of Jesus upon each child, each, each youth in the name of Jesus. And we break right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the spirit of suicide. We bind, we break off of your curse, hex, evil words, spell, incantation, seal, devil, shall in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we bind every spirit of suicide. We bind every spirit of confusion, spirit of sexual morality. We bind every spirit of anarchy, spirit of rejection, spirit of rebellion. We bind the back of forces of retaliation and leads us sent him and cast in the abyss never to turn again the mighty name of Jesus Christ and we loose right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we loose a spirit of acceptance upon them we loose a spirit of adoption upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we loose right now a spirit of wisdom and a spirit of humility upon the children and the youth of the generation, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We lose the spirit of identity, Lord God, Christ's identity, Lord God. Find the identity in your blood, God, and your love, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We lose the spirit of understanding, wisdom, and knowledge, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Lord God. Give us the grace to stand with you. Give us the grace to endure all the trials that you allow, Lord. Give us the grace to count a joy and recognize when you do allow, Father God, crosses, when you do allow, Father God, curses to land upon us, Lord God, when you do allow these sufferings, Lord God, God, whether it be physical pain, emotional pain, Lord Jesus, or spiritual, Lord, we pray, Lord God, that we would cling to you, that we would offer it to you, Lord God, for the salvation of souls that many may be saved, Jesus. We ask for this great faith and this great confidence in you and understanding of your ways, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So guys, continue to come alongside me as we we're praying this novena to saint therese and we ask for intercession saint therese and all of these things we lift up before you and ask that you please come alongside us to pray for these intentions that the world our nation our family and these these lost ones may obtain these graces to taste the sweetness of salvation please pray for us saint therese all right thank you guys god bless you guys love you guys thank you so much for those who are continuing to donate. I'm blown away by God's faithfulness and I'm blown away so much by your, your kindness and your charity towards the Lord's mission in my life and in our life now. <laughs> so God bless you guys until the next message. All right, bye.